One of the first items to replace on any Tesla model are the tires. This is due to the weight of the vehicle and the instant torque of the electric motors. When you're replacing the tires, well, you're going to have to service the TPMS sensors. The Tesla vehicles made from 2012 to 2014 with the Baylong sensors do not display pressure on the center display. However, the Continental and Bluetooth systems will display the pressures for the driver. Tesla offers a retrofit kit to convert the Baylong system to a Continental system. The procedure involves replacing the module and some of the sensors on the vehicle. And aftermarket replacements can be programmed for the car later on. Like many TPMS systems, the Tesla TPMS system has a built-in feature that automatically detects a new set of TPMS sensors. The TPMS sensors can be reset via the vehicle's touchscreen. Before starting, set the tires to the correct cold tire inflation pressure according to the pressure on the door placard and the tire size. Before servicing the tires, make sure the system is functioning. To get started, turn the touch rig on, go to controls, settings, service, and reset the tire pressure monitor. It's gonna differ depending on what model you're working on. This will reset the sensors based on the wheel size. If the tire pressure warning is displayed, exit the vehicle, close the rear trunk and all the doors and wait for the touchscreen to go black. Then re-enter the car and ensure that the correct wheel size is selected before touching reset. Touch reset and then touch OK. Press and hold the scroll wheel and select car status to see the overview of the TPMS information. When the sensors are unknown, all the values will be a dash dash. Ensure that the vehicle is stationary for at least 20 minutes before continuing on to the next step. Next, perform a road test. Auto learning will start when the vehicle exceeds 25 miles an hour. When auto learning completes, the tire pressure information on the display for all the wheels will be there and there will be no faults. Auto learn can take up to 20 minutes of a test drive. Try this procedure again if the tire pressure system needs service displays. After performing the auto learning, if the warning still persists after five minutes of driving at 25 miles per hour, further diagnostics might be required and might require the use of a TPMS tool to diagnose the sensors. Most Tesla models use a service kit that have a clamp-on metal stem. A new service kit should be installed every time the tire is removed from the rim. The valve stem and nut are a one-time use item and most kits are available in two finishes, black and also silver. There are a wide variety of programmable 433 MHz sensors for the Tesla models. There are also direct replacement options for the Bluetooth. Resetting and programming TPMS sensors for a Tesla is a lot like any other vehicle, but the challenge is still the same, keeping the TPMS light out. I'm Andrew Martell, coming to you from the Bempac EV Garage Studio at Babcox Media. Thanks for watching.